So does that in any way mean that this heat streak is overrated or underrated? Skip Bayless? Stephen A. Smith, I'm about to make a case that the quality of the opposition for the heat during the streak overrated. Quality of wins overrated. Okay. Obviously, any team that wins an incredible 27 straight games is going to need some luck. But the basketball gods, the injury gods, have been very, very good to the Miami Heat, who have been very, very lucky to catch many of these good teams without a superstar player. Let's start with the Lakers, without Pau Gasol. Now you can say, well, he didn't fit with Miami in the first place, but he wasn't there for the Heat game. The Bulls were without Derrick Rose. Philly, three times without Andrew Bynum, whose knees are shot. The T-Wolves without Kevin Love. The Pacers without Danny Granger. The Celtics at Boston, you were there, without Kevin Garnett. The Cavaliers, who can be very dangerous at home, without Kyrie Irving and Deion Waiters, who is a, at least a candidate for Rookie of the Year. And then last night, not, not least, but last night, I told you, Nick Vucevic has been a heat killer. Could not go with the concussion last night. Aaron Aflalo out for the rest of the season was not there last night. That was a joke last night. Then we go to six of the, you mentioned the 12 wins against playoff teams. Six at home. These are pretty impressive against Rockets, Clippers, Lakers, Grizzly, Pacers, and Hawks. But really, only one big impressive road win. There's one marquee signature win in this whole streak. And you know what I'm talking about at Oklahoma City the night before the All-Star break. That was big. That was a statement game, and I readily give them that game. But the rest were against Eastern Conference playoff teams get on the road. Five of those. So, Stephen A., at Atlanta, you, you don't, you're not really sold on Atlanta. At Bulls without Derrick Rose, it's okay. At Knicks, it was okay. Carmelo and Amari played in that game, 99-93. Then at Milwaukee, and then again at Celtics without KG. Really, quality of wins, overrated. Well, see, it's interesting because I hear...